Bro's trying to be so different that he got hand tattoos, he got a crazy haircut, and he's wearing a shirt with two dangly pieces of material hanging from it. We all want to be individualistic, even myself. I want to be individualistic. I want people to know me for being a very hyper-specific personality in their life. I want to be the main character. We all have come to this idea that we can be different. But the reality is, we're all the same. Being forced into the insanity that is being individualistic causes many paradoxes. For example, buying special exclusive items and wearing them to seem not ordinary continues to force you into a bubble of still being just another fashion meme we all point and laugh at. Think about it critically here. The idea of fully being so outlandish and different from the rest of mainstream makes you realize that you're not the only one doing it. We live in a rock with a billion other chromosomes, these meat sacks, and you really think you wake up no stylist? That was a joke, you better laugh at it. Anyway, furthering my point, the insecurities of needing the validation from knowing you're not like the others really causes a cancer of anguish that is, quote unquote, no confidence. You'll forever chase the idea of needing to improve, to further the idea you're far away from the social spectacle that is mainstream fashion, but you'll forever be a tool in the never ending cycle of being a consumer, like a cog in the machine of the nine to five work habit. Now it's super easy to get sucked into the idea that we can be individualistic by buying certain exclusive items. But the thing is, buying those Nike Dunks or these Jordan ones, regardless of how exclusive it is, or even buying kiss boots won't make you an individual. It won't make you any different from the rest of people. Just because it takes a very niche audience to appreciate something very particular like, I don't know, tabby boots, that doesn't make you any different from the rest of people that are very like-minded. And I think this kind of portrays a insecurity with a lot of people feeling the need to stand out always. Because who wants to be the same? Who wants to continue to be like everybody else? No one does. Everyone wants to have this very particular look to them. Something that is notable. Something that people will remember. I mean, for f**k's sake, I'm called a fashion elitist. The irony's there. Now you think you're playing the game. But in reality, the scene is only playing you. 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 The game of fashion marketing is the psychology of forcing the consumer to keep buying, to keep consuming, to purchase new gear to level up that Final Fantasy character to become quote unquote different. Like MFs just spawn in with new skins all the damn time. Like, damn, I can't even afford this fit, but I need it. The scene of fashion influencers, like I've stated before in previous videos that you can watch now, uh, please consume this content. But you know what I'm talking about, the walking billboards. But they will only continue to push these seemingly fresh, new intrusive thoughts and ideas of fashion advice to you. Like, like bro, what the f is this? Please someone confirm in the comments I'm not crazy. Like, I don't even know who watches this content. Anyway, back on track. Now there's loads of terrible fashion advice, buzzwords that will make the Google search bar cry, and overall terrible messages that are only pushed to the never-ending fashion NPCs who are only going to be consumed by the spectacle that is social media. If you keep playing the game of keeping up with a new trend, the idea of needing to keep up with what's in and what's out, it's like keeping up with the Kardashians. It's inevitable brain rot. And that Margiela wallet that you hold so dearly is going to be abused, with you never truly finding who you are. Now to the brain dead comments defending trends. I get it. You feel included in the scene, but once again, it doesn't help you. Trends are like drugs, they're fun to do, but at the end of the day, I ask you, what are you running away from? What's the trauma you're escaping? Sorry, that was quite unhinged and awful for me to ask, but back to my main point. We really need to self-reflect to get a better understanding of what we are and who we want to be, not using stupid ideas pushed by the social norm to find yourself. I'll tell you this as your big bro. Don't fall for the mass blissful happiness that is trend hopping. Now, a lot of us get really excited to join the scene of fashion, to become a different, to find our style, to find who we are, but we end up getting consumed by the constant push for us to overconsume, to buy new things, to try and be different by following what's new and what's trending. But the problem with that is you never truly find your style because it perpetuates this constant motion of needing to keep up with something new that's never going to last. Fashion and trends go hand in hand and they just cause cancer to the brain. And there's tons of comments of people stating that to find your style, you have to follow trends or you should try and follow trends because it's fun to do. But the problem is you'll end up doing it and you'll feel ever so lost. Now you might be following a trend right now and there's no problem with that. There's no problem with indulging in a little trendiness. But the problem is, is when you're doing it constantly, that's when it starts really messing with your brain. And just overall, 
truly finding who you are and what you want to be. And it truly does mess with your confidence because if it's not this person telling you what to do, it's gonna be somebody else and that somebody else should only be you. This fashion sh is no joke. You literally go down a rabbit hole of insecurities, confidence issues, self-deprecation. You start hating yourself. You lose all your friends. Like, I don't even know who I am anymore, to be honest. I have no friends because no one wants to talk fashion with me. Don't let it become your personality, that's all I have to say. Because if fashion becomes your personality, you have truly lost yourself. Because remember, there is someone deep down inside of you that is truly who you are, not this persona that you're putting on for the internet or for people outside to, you know, look at your cool, crazy outfit. Now, the journey of truly being individualistic is letting go of the idea that you're different. But how do we rewire our brains to truly experience indifference? Now, you just realize that there are tons of, I'm only assuming like-minded people on the same hero's journey you're on, and if no one's told you this, I will. There's some other person doing the same thing you're doing, but better. I mean, I'm reminded of this constantly. No one needs to humble me. I do that on a consistent basis. Why do you think I'm sitting here sharing this information with you? If I'm sitting in this pool of reality, you'll sit here with me. Anyway, have you heard there's some Japanese fashion men going crazy on them? No? Well, I'm saying it because it's true. As much as I want to feed the ego and tell myself my style holds so much value because I truly believe I'm different, am I only really holding myself back? Clearly, if you think like this, you haven't posted a fit on Reels or TikTok and have gotten children commenting, bros trying to be different so bad. Man, that sh hurts. I cry every night thinking someone out there hates my priest outfits. Like, are you for real right now? I mean, reality does set in a lot of the times on the internet or even on YouTube, or maybe you're walking down the street and you realize that, dang, someone's doing what I'm doing, but even better, and maybe even more individualistic than I could ever do. And that's just the sad reality of fashion and living in a world with a bunch of meat sacks walking around with different ideas, different opinions, and different philosophies. At the end of the day, you have to let go of the idea that you're going to be different, that you're going to be stunned on everybody, that you're gonna have new trendy clothes. You're gonna have to let go of the idea that you're going to be a fashion leader. You're gonna be that person that people talk about when they're trying to find the new trend or you're gonna start the trend. That's probably not gonna happen. A lot of us are going to remain irrelevant. A lot of us are going to remain in the shadows. We're just dressing to dress. No one needs to be an influencer. No one needs to post stuff on social media. God, we need more plumbers. We need more mathematicians. We, we don't need any more designers. We don't need any more fashion influencers. Please, for the love of God, everything that I just stated in this video doesn't apply to me. I'm completely different. I'm in a different world, a different atmosphere. I breathe different air. I'm the one who realized that I myself am not different. I'm just another man on the internet filming content that wears all black. How many other people are doing the same thing I'm doing? There's tons of people. There's people that always constantly dress way better than me, wear cooler outfits, have crazier wardrobes. I truly am not different and I am, if anything, just following a format. Now, don't get me wrong here. Fashion's fun. It's very exciting to get new pieces, to share with people, to have the social interaction that I crave so much for. But the thing is, when we allow our ego to truly just get devoured by feeling like we're different, do we lose all sense of self and we truly lose the sense of what fashion is really about? Because fashion was never made to create people with huge egos. It's made to express ourselves. It's made to show who we are to a broader audience of people that see us on the street walking around or maybe it helps people, you know, kind of have an idea of like what you're about and who, who you are as a person. And I think that's something beautiful. But when people take it to the very strong area of them filling up their egos because they think they're better than everyone because they're wearing a leather jacket that costs a thousand dollars, does it soon lose its charm? The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that our very existence is an act of rebellion. Camus calls on us to embrace our situation, the absurdity of this life, its responsibilities, its unknowns, and also the possibility for joy and passion, but without the idea of hope and sentimentality. Just doing this is an act of rebellion. Because if you accept what life has given you, or fashion, then can you truly live life with freedom?
Loki, that be me sometimes, not gonna lie. <laughs> You know, there's days where I, I'll be like being a voyeur and I'll like look into these apartments like back here. Couldn't be me though, I would never leave my, my windows open like that because then people like me can see it. Like it's so intrusive. Like I'll just be looking into it. I can see your whole apartment plan. How you get in, where you, where you sh Literally everything. So it's a pretty archive day today. Nice and cloudy, perfect for archive MFs. Uh, today we're gonna be going to this archive sale I don't know what they have there, but I'm gonna go check it out with one of my friends. Maybe someone else might link with us, but we'll see how that goes. And, and I'm also gonna be meeting him in Washington Square Park, so I guess we'll just catch him there. Kudos. Shalom. Dressed pretty archive today. I tried. Nice. Update, nothing entertaining to record. It was just a basement with clothes and awkward people. I don't want to see that. <laughs> um, no one showed up that I knew, unfortunately. Uh, but didn't buy anything either. Everything was like pretty much purchased. Or some like, where? Called kettle. Kelp? Kettle. Kettle? Yeah. Matcha latte tastes like green, green grass. Not good at all. I don't know why anyone drinks this. Uh, I guess this was lame, bud. It was horrid. Yeah. An effort was made, though. An attempt was made. Yeah. Let's put on you. You're growing. I tried to make it entertaining, but there just wasn't much to record, I guess. It was just a showroom. But with a clothes. Sad kind, with Funko Pups. I have- I'm gonna mute all that. <laughs> Break it down, let's see. Break it down. Let's see. Black boots from Vince. Uh, pants. Yoji from JQ. Sweater, Stein from JQ, coat, Burberry from my homie Tim, um, I don't know, front general store, belts from Just show the show the details of the, the actual sweater. This guy? It's actually pretty cool. Fucking some like top stitching stuff on like the shoulder and there. Nice and then on the sleeve, shoulder. it's like two cuffs on it. Same with on the bottom, but I have it tucked in. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know. Cargo pants, Yoshi yep. Yamamoto. Indeed. Yep. Look at that. That's Look so that. cool. Come on. Nice pleating. Come on. So cool. Come on. Yeah. Heat fit. Heat yep. fit. Oh. Alright. Really this is my best fit. Uh huh. Yoshi Yamamoto uh -huh. chain, chain uh -huh. shirt. It's runway. Uh -huh. It has this interesting detailing here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This zips up and down. There's a pocket here, as you can tell. Yeah. It's really yep. cool. Really cool. Impact chains came with everything. Crazy. This. Uh, where did I get this from? Oh yeah, I told you. 80s Japanese trench coat. I had these, this was from Portland. This was from an undercover pin. Really cool. Yoji Yamamoto, uh, like balloon pants are really huge. And you can cinch them on nice. the bottom there. The 80s Ortega boots, I wear these all the time. They're like, they're really beat. And then on the rings, Mark Boudelaire ring, Yoji Yamamoto ring, another Yoji ring. Dex and Cell bracelet I never take off. And then for the bag, this is like my camera bag. I recently picked this up. Yoji Yamamoto, poor um, uh, it's from 2020, autumn, winter. It's all twill, it's like this twill material. It's really interesting. Has a lot of pockets going on. This is a big front pocket. I have my stoic challenge book. I carry it around to make myself feel better. Uh, sometimes I read it though. <laughs> sometimes. On occasion. On occasion. Yeah. Yeah, this is the fit that I went to the archive thing with. Definitely blended in. <laughs> no, for sure. For yeah, sure. they loved it. Yeah, kids loved it. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. I appreciate everybody that has continued to watch all my content and that's been maybe finding me through my other videos. I appreciate it very much so. And yeah, that kind of ends it for this video. I don't really have anything else to say. I've kind of made all my main points and I hope you've digested everything that I have to say 
because this brain is never stopping. It always is constantly rotating new ideas and thoughts. And I'm hoping that I can continue to make more content for the internet to consume and just enjoy. I hope my content's easily digestible. I know it gets quite difficult because I ramble a lot and I'm hoping my editing's getting a lot better and just the video quality has been going up. I hope so, but um, I really want to thank everyone that's subscribed to my Patreon and that's also supporting me through watching the ads and just being a subscriber. I appreciate y'all because I see there's 50% of y'all that aren't subscribed. You're just watching me. Now that's totally fine. I know I don't truly deserve a lot of my subscribers at all or just the maybe the small support group that I do have or the community. Um, I truly don't deserve much of this to be honest. I just think I'm just a dude on the internet giving my thoughts and opinions about fashion in a different aspect in general. Is my content any better than anyone else's on the platform? Possibly, because as long as you have sat here and watched the video and had just maybe a new thought, a new idea about fashion, can I truly say I did my job well? But to stop me from rambling too much, uh, leave some comments down below about the topic that I chose and maybe some of the statements I've made. If you have anything to reflect on, please leave them down in the comments section. I do really love reading a lot of these comments. You guys are all very smart and intellectual, just like myself. And I'm happy to have uh, this community growing very slowly. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. And remember to watch one of these videos up on the screen at some point uh, and enjoy your day. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Later, Drainers.